Today we have a presentation on a very common clinical problem, uh, uh, indeed uh, a laboratory problem which is important in the clinical context and that is actually the blood CP which reveals that the HP is normal of a patient, especially females, the MCV is low and so is the hematocrit level, they are both are low. So what is the next step? Whether this HB is spuriously elevated or the MCV or the HCT, they are spuriously low. There is a common formula which must be applied before interpreting them as abnormal, which is the ratio of the, MC, the HCT, hematocrit or HB. Generally, the ratio is 3 to 1. For example, if the HB is 11, the HCT must be 33%. So, if there is a discrepancy between these two, this shows that there is some abnormality in the lab parameter. And in that case, we have to know that this MCV and HCT, they are actually spurious. So, what could be the common cause? The common cause could be if the blood has been taken in less quantity in the lavender top, lavender top tube, which has an anticoagulant of choice, which is called ethylene, diamine, tetra, acetic acid, EDTA. If the blood has been taken in less quantity because of incompetency, because of lack of cooperation by the patient or because of some hurry uh, 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 by the professional or professional non-conduct. So what happens, this is present in excess quantity in this bottle. What happens, this causes shrinkage, sh shrinkage of RBCs leading to low MCV and as hematocrit is calculated from MCV and RBC count so this definitely comes low so this is a common problem and this can avoid unnecessary investigations like a patient a female patient who has a normal HP but the MCV is low and so is the hematocrit level this can lead to unrealistic studies, iron studies, which could be avoided by clearly interpreting these investigations by these formulas. Thank you very much.